Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an Acer gaming laptop. This is the Nitro 5. Let me show you the model number. If you take a look here at the bottom of your laptop, the back of it, it says N20C1 Nitro 5. And let me show you the screen. In my case, the screen was hit hard from the front of the cover right here so there were a big impact on the on, on the top case here therefore the lcd screen in the back of it the back lighting and the lcd has this uh, funny pixelated screen i'm not sure if i can show it to you or you can see it but if you take a closer look here uh, you can see that it's a very faint lines running across the screen and there's no display at all Okay, so if I try to turn off the laptop, you should be able to see that that faded lines here, it goes away. So let me press and hold the power. And there goes the screen is completely dark. That means the computer is off. So again, my screen is uh, obviously is damaged. And in this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to replace the screen. I do not have the new screen with me at this moment, but I'd like to remove this broken screen and then continue ordering the new screen and finish up the repair after. But in this video, I would definitely walk you through step by step the whole complete process on how to do this uh, screen replacement on this laptop. Again, if you feel like this video is helpful and you find that I was able to that you find that you're able to follow along with the video and get your screen repaired please go ahead and click the like and subscribe and I really appreciate you for doing that so the first thing I like to do is to get the uh, um, a metal prying tool so what this is is I like to stick it in between the screen sorry in between the bezel so that is the uh, the front cover and that is the bezel so if you stick it in between here you should have the opening to pry open the bezel so take your time you do not have to rush to open up the bezel the bezel is quite fragile and I do not want you to break or damage the bezel so take your time and uh, we gently pry open the bezel. When you get to the bottom part here, uh, you may have to put a little bit pressure. The clipper seems to be a lot tighter at the bottom. All right, there you have it. There's no double-sided tape or anything that tapes onto the bezel for this model. It's just pretty much a clipper. And if you clip prying up the clipper, you would remove the bezel in one piece condition like that. The next step you would like to pay attention to is the LCD screen. So this LCD is not screwed in on the side. There's nothing to hold onto the LCD. The screen is held down by double-sided adhesive tape. If you take a very closer look at the bottom right corner here, you can actually see that this black tape is for you to pull, pull it up. So if you hold that tape and start pulling it down, try not to break it and I broke mine, but that's all right. Uh, you should have another one on the top here. So I think the tape is only halfway. I I don't think it's um I apologize I said the wrong thing. You most of the time this double-sided tape is only one pull coming from the bottom. They usually length between from here to the bottom here. But I guess this model is slightly different. It might have been just the length of the bottom right this much and then on the top right this much. So they leave the middle part empty. I think this might be the case of it. All right, yeah, it looks like the tape is pretty short. It's only from the top part, right, this much. Okay, and then the other one is at the, for the bottom. So the middle part has no tape on it. 
Okay, so you want to do it on the other side. Find the tape on the top left corner. And come back here to do the bottom left corner. All right, once you pulled four tips away from the laptop, now you can lift the screen up towards your body, so leave it towards yourself. And this is how the, uh, the screen looks like. So at this point here, what you wanna do next is to open up this plastic cover. So this plastic here, or the tape, Sorry, it's not a plastic cover. So this tape is taping down the connector, right? Uh, the the LCD cable connector. So do not cut open the tape. You're going to reuse the same tape. Now what you want to do is there's a little safety clipper right here. You're going to flip the clipper up. Once the clipper is up, then you can slide the uh, cable away from your body. So slide it to that direction. And we're going to save this cable here and reuse it on the new screen. All right. So here you're going to take a look and on the screen. If you take a look here, it says B156HAN08.4. I know it's pretty hard to read, but you might want to follow your screen. So for my case, this is manufactured by AU Optronics. And uh, this is the screen model here. What I'll do is I'll link it in the description below. I usually buy my screen from either Amazon or eBay. So if you want to go ahead and check out the link in the description below and so that you can buy the correct screen and do the replacement yourself. All right. So the next thing that you need to have is the double sided tape. Remember the tape that we removed earlier. So we need to re tape it again so that the tape can host the LCD screen. I bought this tape through Amazon and this is a, this is the five millimeter width of the double sided tape. You can buy bigger if you like or smaller if you like, but I like to use this five millimeter width of this double sided tape. Now, assuming this is the new screen that came, that came in today and we're gonna do the installation, so pretty obvious it's a reverse process what you need to do is to connect the uh, the cable first right so make sure the safety pin is open up and what you want to do next is to slide the connector towards the lcd screen so so slide it down to install push the safety pin clipper back in clip that clip that connector well and you want to pull the tape a little bit down towards your body and tape it in. So you want to have the good, <coughs> excuse me, you want to have the good and, and tuck in that cable towards the LCD. Now the next thing, the next step, what you need to do is to go ahead and cut the length right about this much and re-tape the LCD screen. So you can tape it. Well, I think maybe tape it down to the, uh, to the base might be a better option but if you can see carefully they do have a little bit of line right here for the measurement size so i like to do it is slightly stick out a little bit right i stick it out a little bit on the top right corner oops excuse me sorry you were not able to see it so i'll stick it out a little bit that metal line so if I do happen to crack the screen again for the second time, I can actually know where the tape is so that I can pull, pull, it, um, pull it out after. So you want to do that, just give yourself a little bit more room for the next repair uh, if that happens. Now what you want to do, you want to do four of them, right? One, two, three, and four. And for the bottom part, it's the same process. You want to pull... Uh, a little bit down you're going to give yourself a little bit room so that the next repair can be done or can be seen 
where the tape is located at. Okay, right about this much. That should be more than enough. All right, so once you peel the tape, it is ready to, um, this is a double-sided tape, so it is ready to be stick on too, right? So let me put it back here because I don't have the new screen. I'm just showing it, showing it to you how to do it. Uh, so once you have all four tapes ready to be installed, and what you want to do is you just want to lay flat and let the screen sit on its position. And that's how you're going to have the screen uh, in the right place. So once you have the screen installed, Pretty much the next step you want to do is to install the bezel. The bezel is a clip on, so you just stick it in and press it down all the corner and you'll be done with the uh, screen repair the installation of the bezel. All right, the next step is to turn on the computer and hopefully uh, this video helps you and you'll be able to follow along the repair and get yourself um, a, new, a new screen on your laptop. If you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and uh, click the like button or subscribe. If you have any question regarding about um, a different problem with the laptop here, please comment below. I'm more than happy to answer uh, any of your questions. Uh, other than that, uh, please take care and until next time. Bye now.